Gambia participates on Thursday at a press conference held at Merge Residence Hotel, revealed observation on the National Assembly election campaign and deployed 65 long-term election observers to all the 53 constituencies to monitor the political campaign ahead of the April 9 parliamentary elections funded by the International Republican Institute worth $150,000 U.S. dollars. Speaking to the media, Marnyang said, Specifically, Gambia participates recommends the Independent Electoral Commission and other electoral stakeholders intensify a campaign to mobilize participation in the electoral process. Gambia participates observes that voter education campaigns are occurring unevenly across the regions and would encourage stakeholders to intensify efforts in areas that are not yet addressed. Gambia participates established that political party rallies are occurring throughout the country, primarily organized by the Alliance for Patriotic Reorientation and Construction, Citizen Alliance, Gambia Democratic Congress, National People's Party, People's Democratic Organization for Independence and Socialism, and the United Democratic Party. GP recommends that candidates and parties adhere to the electoral codes, discourage violence among their supporters, and desist from all illegal practices such as the abuse of state resources for campaigns. GP urges all, all relevant security agents to respond timely and appropriately to emerging conflicts. Speaking on the general environment, he said the long term observation checkbook is divided into seven parts and each, each were individually completed and reported to the Gambia participants meant to update its database and the long term observation is based on general political environment. Except for civil unrest that was reported in Bundunka, Bundunka constituency in Kanifin, 98% of Gambia long term observers reported that pre election environment was calm and orderly in the post period. That's March 1st to March 7th. As the electioneering activities intensified, observers witnessed a relatively charged political environment in the second reporting period. That's between March 8th to March 14th. While 91% of LTUs reported that the pre election environment was mostly calm, 6% in Serakunda, Kantora, and Birikama, on Birika, um, and Birikama North reported disorder at the IEC office. In the IEC regional office in the West Coast region, fracas ensued on candidates' nomination. For example, on March 10, 2022, the underscore rejection of UDP's Busumbala constituency candidate, in bracket Mohamed Sabri, propelled an unrest between UDP followers and police personnel. Our observer reported that the use of excessive force by police personnel and the throwing of harmful debris on police personnel by UDP supporters. He added that the observer for Fony Councillor constituency reported a state of panic and internal migration due to the exchange of heavy gunfire between Senegalese troops and the MFDC rebels on March 13, 2022. According to our observer in Fony Bandali, chaos erupted between a fraction of NPP and APRC supporters in the constituency. A chaos was as a result of NPP sponsoring a candidate against APP, APRC's Kadi Kamara. The APRC followers in the constituency protested the sponsoring of Usman Nyasi by the NPP because they alleged that the NPP violates the coalition agreement between APRC and NPP. As a result of this tension, Usman Nyasi resulted in running as an independent candidate. While speaking on the IEC preparatory activities, Nyan said, the regional office have received the voter register. 11% reported the presence of ballot drum and 8% reported the presence of bags containing marbles. The Commission continued its election preparation activities through the dispatch of election materials to its officers. In the second period, March 8, March 14, 2% of the LTOs confirmed that IAC has received the register of voters in their constituencies, 8% confirmed the receipt of ballot drums in their constituencies, while 4% confirmed that the Commission's offices in their constituency have received the marble trays and bags containing marbles. The distribution of election materials continued through the third reporting period, as March 15 to March 21. 12% of the LTOs further confirmed that the regional offices have received ballot drums. 2% of LTOs reported that the IEC regional offices have received voter register and the COVID-19 health kit. The observation further reveals that the accessibility of the regional office for the period March 7th, 32% of Gambia participants, long-term observers reported that the Independent Electoral Commission regional offices were open to observers of this. 23% reported that offices of this, 23% reported 
that offices are not situated to locations that are accessible to people with disability. He concluded that it is worrisome that three weeks to the elections, voter educational campaign law in some regions. As for the chart reported, no voter education work reported by 54%. In some regions, as for the chart reported, no voter education campaign were reported by 54% of observers and the targeted voter education campaign. Reporting for Kairaba News Network, Mama Eture.